Slack, AI, and QuickBooks Online. I hadn't seen a lot of people talking about this N8N tool and their QuickBooks Online connector, so I figured to dive in and just take a look at it. And it's pretty cool. So we spent just a couple of minutes and, and uh, stood up this little uh, workflow. It's basic, but you'll get the idea and it gives you, you know, a ledge to stand on when you're kind of thinking about how you might incorporate this into your workflow. Okay, so we'll go ahead and hit uh, test workflow here and we'll pop over to Slack because that's what we're using. And you can see, let's see here, I'll just scroll up here and I'll just you know, what is the balance of a particular invoice? And we'll just paste it in here. Actually, this is not an invoice, it's a vendor bill. It's already moved from left to right here, QuickBooks Online, getting the response, pushes it back to uh, QBO. So there, it tells you uh, the balance due for that vendor bill is is that. Uh, you can see here, we did this one already, but we'll, yeah, we'll just do it again. Um, we always have, you know, when we're doing these tests, we have to kind of trigger it manually. But obviously you can set it up so that it's just listening to this Slack channel and uh, kind of going through the motions. Okay. Yeah, so this is pretty cool. It's really exciting because it's, you know, it's going into a system that uh, maybe you don't want all your team members going into, but they do need to know, did an invoice get paid? Did we receive that payment? you know, that kind of thing, or did we pay somebody? And they can just ask, right? This is a, a pretty easy way to do it. Let's take a quick look at it because there are some kind of uh, interesting things about it. I mean, obviously we're uh, doing the Slack integration. There's plenty of videos out there on how to do the Slack integration with N8N, not a lot around QuickBooks. So I'm just gonna, um, I'm gonna move over here to the code piece that uh, kind of formats the uh, query. Right, so what you're looking for is basically a query that looks just like this, uh, where a doc number is, and then you know it gives the number. So this this num this is being pulled from the AI agent over here. If you're not familiar with how NAN works, it moves you know through the process and uh, input on one side, output on the other, and then of course when we get over here to QuickBooks, we'll just click on that. And so here we go. We're grabbing the query and we're just putting it down here. Um, you know, one of the challenges to, to set this up was just the assumption that, you know, the query needed to be the whole query that you would normally send to uh, like a QuickBooks Online, the whole API call. Um, in, in this case, <clears throat> you're kind of filtering down already what kind of query it is so you don't have to include you know, that you're looking for a vendor bill or, or, or you know, a record like that. Uh, so the query is a little bit more simplistic, right? Where the doc number is this. Uh, and then that gets passed along. Uh, and, and then we, you know, we just kind of uh, put it back into natural language uh, over here, uh, you know, for um, Slack. Cool. Yeah, it's really exciting. Yeah. Um, more to come on N8N. We think it's pretty cool and you can build some really complex things. So uh, yeah, look us up if you're interested.